Hello everyone and welcome to today's coloring video in which I would like to show you how I do a shiny watercolor background. The idea for this video I got when a lovely lady asked me what I used on the background for the picture of Anis Guerrero um, Give me my wings and I'm going to try to redo this effect on another picture of Anis um, so the picture that I chose is Mushroom Trap, which was a free gift in her official Facebook coloring group for the Mushroom Trap event. So which mediums did I use? Um, I used the Gansai Tambi Japanese watercolors from Kuritake, which I mixed with the pearl watercolor, also from the set. So here you can see the colors of the perfect pearls that I'm mixing in and I also use a little bit of um, just mixed with water uh, to make it even shinier and also I found out that it is quite nice for mixing and blending colors together and of course give it a little bit of extra shine. The colors that I used are number 50, number 57 number 62 and a little bit of number 61 which is the light blue and then a whole lot of number 95 which is a silver or pearl color. So I think basically you could use any watercolors that you own and mix it together with a pearl, pearl watercolor or even with iridescent uh, medium which I saw lately on Wii's channel that reminded me that I also have iridescent medium and I definitely have to try how that would work or how it would look. The advantage of mixing your own shiny colors is that you can create a better transition of colors um, because you can create more hues and tones and everything the uh, so it's really not important that you try to create the same shades as I do just mix yourself a few different hues and colors so for example in my case I'm mixing a few different shades of blue like a light blue medium blue and darker blues I still recorded the mixing of the colors but I think that is not too interesting so if you would like to skip this part I will blend it in um, I will blend in the time to when the painting process starts somewhere in the upper left corner
the paper that I'm working on is again the perfect coloring paper by Transotype. I wanted to use the same paper that I had used on my original picture on which I did the shiny background the first time. So just in case. Furthermore, this is marker paper for alcohol markers, so I think I will do her dress and alcohol markers again. The paper has 250 gram and not a long time ago I said that it wouldn't work for water mediums. But that is basically not true because it does work with watercolor as you can see in this video. It is possible to use it with water mediums, but I didn't like the effect with watercolor pencils. The paper will buckle a little bit depending on the amount of uh, water that you are using but I just wanted to say that it's possible to use with watercolors for background. I'm working here from light to dark. So first I applied a layer of my lightest color in which I used too much water so the shiny effect is not very visible but that will be corrected because I will add a lot more layers of color with different shades. So what I found out which is working best for blending the different shades together at least for me was a big bristle brush um, use it either more or less dry and without color and just dab it on the area where you want to blend or lot the brush with pearl pigment color it shouldn't be too wet and then dab it too to the areas where you would uh, like to blend and uh, it also adds some extra shine to the finished result. So I'm wishing you all a lot of fun watching the time lapse, time -lapse of this um, coloring and hopefully it will inspire you to try it yourself. If you enjoy the video please consider hitting the like button.
this is the finished result of this background. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give me a thumbs up if you like. And um, happy coloring and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!